Next up for us, Houston Texans at Tennessee Titans. We're at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. 60 Fahrenheit, cloudy, 9 miles per hour. Houston opening up as 10-point dogs. That's moved to 10.5. And, and right now, Houston is 10.5-point dogs. And that 10.5 is at minus 111. If you want the minus 10.5 on Tennessee, it's at plus 101. This total is at 44 and a half. And it opened at 45 and a half. So we've dropped, it's dropped one point. We have 2,610 tickets in. 69% of the tickets and 88% of the cash is on Tennessee. Then we have 58% of tickets on the over. We don't have the cash flow yet. And as I said, 60 Fahrenheit, cloudy, nine miles per hour. I believe I said that. Texans coming off their bye week with extra rest and prep. They were last seen in a sloppy 17-9 loss at Miami. The coaching staff was hard at work while the players were off for the week. Houston's now lost eight straight, 12th team in NFL history to start 1-0 and lose their next eight games. Tyrod Taylor returned and did not look good. 24-43, yards, zero touchdowns, three interceptions. When they asked the coach if they want to look at the future and, and go with Davis Mills, he said no. We're still trying to be competitive and win games. Houston's 17 turnovers are tied for fifth most in the league. Brandon Cooks led the way with six catches for 56 yards. They got little out of their running game. They ran 18 times for 73 yards. Philip Lindsay led with eight carries for 28 yards. They were able to dial up pressure. The defense has never been the problem with this squad. Four sacks, nine quarterback hits. They are last in total offense, 31st in yards rushing, and 29th in yards passing. They score 14.2 points a game. The defense is 30th in yards allowed, 31st in yards rushing, and 29th, allowing 28.7 points. Now, they're 31st in yards rushing because they're down by so much. The teams are just running the ball at them. Now, you should be able to stop them if that situation arises. Pack the box. They're not able to do that. So maybe maybe their defense has hurt them too. Tennessee comes in off their sixth straight win, 23-21 home win over the Saints. This is a sign of a good team in any sport. When you win a game and you don't look good doing it and you have players in key positions out, they became the second NFL team to win five games in a row over playoff teams from the season before. They're actually 7-0 against 2020 playoff teams this season. They were outgained 373 to 264, still came through with the win. Tan Hill was 19 and 27 for 213 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. And he was dealing with a stomach bug. He said he felt sick in the morning, he felt sick all day. With Julio Jones out on injured reserve, the Saints were all over AJ Brown. He had one catch for 16 yards, but Marcus Johnson led receivers with five catches for 100 yards. Julio Jones will not be back this week. Derrick Henry out after successful foot uh, surgery. He's not going mean, to – they're saying that there's a chance he comes back, but people on the inside are saying he's not coming back this year. Titans got nothing out of their ground game. 29 carries for 66 yards. Dante Foreman had 11 carries for 30 yards. He did have two receptions for 48 yards. This defense continued to bend and not break. Four sacks, five quarterback hits. Jeffrey Simmons has five sacks over his last two games. Harold Landry has 10 sacks now on the season after getting a sack on Sunday. Uh, Bud Dupree went to the locker room early with an abdominal issue, declared out. He's listed as questionable this week. Uh, their, their defensive tackle, Tart, linebacker David Long Jr., cornerback Greg Maben, and linebacker Rashawn Evans were all inactive last week. Listed as questionable this week. Do you have any trust in the Texans off the bye? This Titans is not a good team. Or Sorry, this Titans is a very good team, but they're not – with their skilled position players out, are they going to be able to blow teams out, or are they just going to win comfortably and not cover ten points? Take it away, Bebsy. Uh, I hate how much I agree with Birdie uh, right now because on Sunday he called me a city boy because I was wearing a toque. Um, so I will be fighting Birdie uh, live on pay per view later this year. However, um, I, I agree with what he's saying. This is a really tough spot for the Titans. They have come off back-to-back -back wins after Derrick Henry getting hurt, especially when people thought they were going to implode. They're playing great football, but now they're playing a garbage team coming off a bye with a little bit of <laughs> with a little bit of pride here. And I think this is this is going to be a closer game than it needs to. Birdie, I, I think it's fun that you're putting money line on Houston. I, I do believe that Tennessee um, will win the game. They're going to win this game, but it's going to be way more of a struggle than it should be. Um, Jimmy's cash something. He's excited over there. Uh, but, yeah, so I, I honestly think my, Birdie money line, I would love for you to hit it. I don't think it's completely out of the realm of possibility. Um, but if you are going to bet this game, I would say Houston and the points, especially with 
you know, Tyrod rolling into town, playing a game, bit of pride here. And uh, and just a just a real letdown spot for the Tennessee Titans here. <laughs> Slatsy wants Jose and myself on the undercard of that uh, that fight. <laughs> oh God, that would be beautiful. Uh, Dennis Garcia giving us a final score of thirty four ten. Interesting. Uh, Dennis Trusty screaming shot time like our razor sharp picks. Uh, <laughs> Jose says he's too quick for my old bones. <laughs> old phones. Um, you know, um, I want to back the Texans here. I get um, it. I get. I totally get why people would be backing the Texans here. But I could see this game being close the whole way, and the Titans winning twenty four ten and covering. And if I think that a twenty four ten game is in the offing, doesn't the under have to come into play here? Yeah, I mean, both offenses – well, one offense stinks, and the other's got to be sputtering a little bit. God, their run game is putrid without uh, without Derrick Henry back there. Uh, take note, Mike Vrabel, stop running Henry into the ground. He cannot run forever. Uh, <laughs> Hoops590 says, I'm not putting my money on Texans until 2023, and that's kind of how I feel in this spot. But I want to back them too. Um, just because, again, I I agree with Birdie wholeheartedly here. I think this is a very difficult uh, potential letdown spot for the Tennessee Titans. That doesn't mean I'm not going to smash Birdie's face in when we meet. <laughs> <laughs> in the, in the, are we doing octagon? Let's do octagon. Uh, when we meet in the octagon, I'm going to destroy him, but I agree with him here. I agree with Trusty, a nice casher for me, uh, tailing our man Maxwell Smart here, double up. Uh, last I looked, Loyal Chicago was only up nine, and we had him first half of minus 18 and a half. We had the uh, first half over as well, so cash, cash. Uh, to you, Maxwell Smart, thank you for your guidance, your leadership, and your winners. Pepsi, let's be honest, though. Minus 150 my way against Jimmy. Let's just be honest. I'm putting all my money on you. I've seen Jimmy move. Uh, you give him one shot in the kidney, and that shit is over. Oh, Jesus. You know, we all know that I will have something in my gloves that will cut Jose's face. <laughs> we all know that I won't fight fair. So I. Uh, Jimmy will also- bite. Oh, I'll, whatever it takes, man. I'm a okay, but uh, you know, let's not get Jose and I on this road. This road will end up in a slap fight, and uh, Bebzy has seen our uh, slap fights when we've got drunk in the past. So let's not get into a slap fight. All right, let's stay focused here. Uh, I think the under has to be in play here because I like the Texans' defense. Although I did read out some stats that were poor, and I think that. Why are you not on the under here? Give me one reason why you're not on the under, Bebsy. I wish I had a good one. Um, yeah, fucking right I'm bullying right now, Slatsy. Don't. He says my forearms the size of Jose's legs. That was one, one of my first jokes I ever wrote there. The uh, forearm just from jerking off so much. It doesn't even look strong anymore. That's, that's what happens what... when you get older. You just... Not what it used to be, Jimmy. You lose the fight. You lose the fight. Okay, let's stay focused here. Uh, so why wouldn't I move here on the under? And Dennis Garcia says by the time Jimmy gets DQ'd, he would already got paid out. Paid out. That's the best part. Is no one doesn't that just drive you crazy with horse racing and UFC? That okay, but I'm going to I'm going to move. I want the under. I want the under. I don't trust the Texans. But I trust them to keep this game somewhat low scoring. And, and the Titans offense is not going to put up tons of points. And the fact that I almost lost that there was an interception in the end zone that should have been a touchback and the Titans get the late touchdown to almost screw my team total under. And that was in the first half. So I'm going to take the under in this game. This is going to be my first spot on the board. 
under 44 and a half in Texans Titans. And I guess that will keep me off the Texans. But right now I would like to have the Texans and the bears on my card. And if I truly believe in this bear squad, why wouldn't I want them here? Why wouldn't I want, I just, no, oh God. Is, is it, is it Nagy is the issue? Do you trust Nagy off a of buy? Is he so terrible? I don't trust Nagy. I don't trust Nagy against a high school football team. Okay, let's keep rolling. I do have the under. And Gerald Jones says game time under 42. You know this under is going to go down in points. Okay. Let's move on.